Hello, my friends. This is Qin Hong here. Today, I want to share with you how I paint the eyes in an easy and effective way. And first, we are actually going to look at how to paint water drop. Why? Because I realized that the water drop has a very similar light and shadow pattern as the eyes, and it's very easy for us to observe. So. Let's take a look. We'll see that for a water drop, the part of it where the light hits it directly is actually the darkest. But there is a highlight, a small highlight, in that darkness. In the water drop where it's opposite from the highlight, it actually lights up. Here we have. Water drops of different colors, and you can see the same pattern. Now I'm going to sketch this light and shadow pattern for you in pencil, and it will be easier for you to see. And again, where、uh, the light hits the water drop, it actually is the darkest, with a small highlight, and on the opposite. Portion of the water drop from the highlight, it lights up. Okay, now we're going to paint it in watercolor, and again we are going to follow the same light and darkness pattern. Uh, where the light hits this water drop, it's the darkest, and with a highlight that's right in the middle of the darkness. So you will see that I will continue to darken the dark part to give it more contrast, and lift out some color from the lighter part, and that will leave a very beautiful watermark. And I also soften some of the edges of that highlight, and to make it more natural. Okay, now we are ready to paint the real eye, and I want to show you how I paint a bunny this time. So the bunny has this dark brownish color in the eye, and I like to use the mixture of burnt amber. And violet, and that create a really beautiful dark color. And I use this mixture a lot for all the hazel,、uh, brownish, dark, dark eyes. Okay, let's go. So just like I did the water drop earlier, I'm going to do. A highlight with this mixture that of paint that I just created, and I leave out the highlight and darken the portion around it. And light up on the opposite side from the highlight. Because the light actually are going to go through that part of the eye and make it light. I will lift out some of the colors and、uh, again soften some edges of that highlight. Now I use clear water and gently sweep around the eye. And some portion I will touch the edge of the eye, and some I will leave a space. And this really helps to set the eye in the face. Okay, now I think you got a basic idea on how I'm painting the eye. And I will continue on to paint this lovely little rabbit.
Well, I hope this painting and today's tutorial give you some help, uh, useful information for you to paint your own beautiful eyes. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.